Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Welcome to the Nassau County Museum of Art in Roslyn Harbor. I'm Franklin Hill Perel, guest curator of two exhibitions here. One is called Feast for the Eyes that uh, has 150 major works that deal with the subject of food throughout the museum and also guest curator of the Contemporary Gallery which is presently featuring the work of Ben Schoenzeit. And Ben Schoenzeit is actually featured in both exhibitions and it's his own idiom. There's nothing like it anywhere and he calls it abstract figuration. Quite a contrast for an artist who's known as one of the, one of the key members of the photorealist group. But nonetheless, it's another side of him, and we thought it would be a great opportunity uh, to present this. This is a very special show for me because it's the first time that this broad uh, picture of the other side of my work has been presented uh, anywhere. I've never shown sculpture. As a student, I was doing stuff like this. I was very influenced by Picasso and Brancusi and Matisse and Miro, surrealist kind of stuff. I stopped pretty much making sculpture and was a photorealist for years and years, which I still am. And all of these things really come more from the imagination. When you're a photorealist and you're working from a photograph, it's like, it's like going on a trip where you have to get to someplace specific. And what's in this room is more like um, you just fill up the car with gas and take off. And wherever, you know, you'll find some place to sleep. I have really developed over the years my own language. It's my own world. And these sculptures over here, the little one, one of them is maybe from 93, 94, I don't know which is not that long ago to me. And the others were done in the last month. There's a picture of my son learning to dive. He's just throwing himself upside down into a pool. You know, I took pictures of him doing this, but somehow I started scribbling and wound up with a drawing that better expresses, a watercolor here, that better expresses the glee of being a kid and just doing the same thing over and over again. These are letters to my son. I do a little watercolor or something on the envelope. I uh, stick a $20 bill in it and I mailed it to my son. So here he's in summer camp and then there's someone who was in college and then graduate school. And so now I've had exhibitions of the, um, small exhibitions of these envelopes that, you know, there are probably a few thousand of them out in the world now. There are prints that are done from uh, collages. If you do a, a, a gray one, then you want to do a red, yellow, and green one. You know, it's the, they, they bounce off each other. So that, I mean, I do some stuff which is fairly somber, and then I do stuff which is uh, funny. And a, a lot of the, the collages now that I'm doing that are in the case over there, I don't know what I'm doing when I start. I really don't know what's going to happen. You know, I start cutting things up and moving things around, and all of a sudden, there's something funny. You know, there's a woman over here. There's a print of that woman. I didn't know I was, that was gonna happen. She showed up. This whole room is all about playing. The photorealism is much more work. Recently, I just um, wanna make a mess. Mm -hmm. 